This tutorial is on chapter 26, Relativistic Energy and the Equivalence of Mass and Energy. In this tutorial, we are going to define and calculate rest energy, kinetic energy, and total energy in special relativity. In the previous lesson, time dilates and length contracts by a factor known as the Lorentz factor. We could symbolize the Lorentz factor with the symbol gamma, and it is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, where gamma is the Lorentz factor, v is the velocity of the relevant motion, and c is the speed of light. Like time and length, the definition of kinetic energy requires modification in relativistic mechanics. Einstein found that the correct expression for the kinetic energy of an object is Ke is equal to the Lorentz factor multiplied by mc squared minus mc squared, where Ke once again is kinetic energy, gamma is the Lorentz factor or 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, and m is the mass of the object. The term mc squared is known as the rest energy or er. And this rest energy is independent of the speed of the object, so whether or not the object is moving, it will always have rest energy equivalent to the product of its mass multiplied by the square of the speed of light. Another important concept for this lesson is the total energy, and in special theory of relativity, Total energy is equal to kinetic energy plus rest energy. So total energy ET would be equal to Lorentz factor multiplied by mc squared minus mc squared, which is the kinetic energy, plus mc squared, which is the rest energy, or we denote it with, this, we denote it with the symbol ER. So if we're going to simplify, simplify this equation, that means our total energy is just equal to the Lorentz factor multiplied by the mass of the object multiplied by the square of the speed of light. Now remember, remember that the Lorentz factor is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. Therefore, we could say that our total energy would be equal to mc squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. And this equation over here is Einstein's famous mass energy equivalence equation. So now let us apply the relevant equations to solve this problem. An electron moves with a speed v is equal to 0 0.850 c. Find its total energy and kinetic energy in mega electron volts and compare the latter to the classical kinetic energy. We're given the conversion factor that 10 to the power of 6 electron volt is equal to 1 mega electron volt. So let's begin by solving the total energy. Total energy or ET is equal to, according to the previous equation, the Lorentz force multiplied by mc squared or we will all or we have the equation mc squared divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared so let us substitute our values the mass of or the mass here would be the mass of the electron since it is actually what's given in the problem and that is equal to 1 i mean 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 multiplied by the square of the speed of light or 3 times 10 to the power of 8 square divided by w the square root of 1 minus v squared our v squared here would be 0 0.850 c and this quantity here is squared divided by c squared then we will have a much simpler a notation for this equation so that we will have 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 um, times 3 to the power of 8 square divided by the square root of 1 minus the c squared here gets cancelled out so we would only have 0 
squared and this value here would give us mm, one point wait let me just write it down let me continue it here this value would give us 1.556 times 10 to the power of negative 13 joules but we are going but we must express it in mega electron volt so we need to change joule to electron volt then to mega electron volt to do that we would multiply this with our conversion factor mm. that one electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule that allows us to cancel the unit of joule leaving us with electron volt also to convert electron volt to mega electron volt then we would use the conversion factor it says that for every 10 to the power of 6 electron volt we have one mega electron volt that allows us to cancel the electron volt and this expression would give us um, 0 0.973 mega electron volt and this is our total energy having solved the total energy or et to be equal to 0 0.973 mega electron volt then we could go ahead and solve for the kinetic energy of the electron moving with the speed of 0 0.850 c so we have the equation the total energy is equal to the kinetic energy plus the rest energy then therefore our kinetic energy may be written with the equation kinetic energy is equal to the total energy minus the rest energy and the total energy is equal to 0 0.973 mega electron volt minus our minus our rest energy which is mc squared but we have to express rest energy in mega electron volt so to do that let us substitute our values now so we have 0 0.973 mega electron volt for our total energy minus the mass of the electron so that would be 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 multiplied by the square of the speed of light times 10 to the power of 8 but this entire quantity here would actually give us uh, the rest energy in joules so we have to convert this to mega electron volt by multiplying the following conversion factor so again this entire term here is actually in joules so we have to convert this into electron volt to do that we will have 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule in the denominator and that's equal to one electron volt that would allow us to cancel the unit joule and in every 10 to the power of 6 electron volt we have one mega electron volt this would lead us to kinetic energy be equal to the total energy 0 0.973 mega electron volt minus the rest energy in electron volt and that is equal to 0 0.512 mega electron volt so therefore the kinetic energy or the relativistic kinetic energy is equal to 0 0.461 mega electron volt so we have solved for the kinetic energy of the electron as it moves in relativistic speed and that is equal to 0 0.461 mega electron volt. Now the last part of this question is to compare the latter meaning the kinetic energy that we have solved the relativistic kinetic energy to the classical kinetic energy of the electron as it moves with the speed of 0 0.850 c so classical kinetic energy is just equal to one half mv squared so one half mv squared and the ma and this one here is expressed in joules 
So we'll substitute our values. That's one half multiplied by the mass of the electron. That's one nine point eleven times ten to the power of negative thirty one, multiplied by the velocity, which is zero point eight five zero, multiplied by the speed of light, which is three times ten to the power of eight, and we square this term. All right, so again, this entire quantity here would have the unit of joule. So we need to express the classical kinetic energy in mega electron volt. So to do that, we will convert the unit first to electron volt. So we will have 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule in the denominator. And we have one electron volt in the numerator. That's allow That would allow us to cancel the joule unit here. And from electron volt, we could convert that now to mega electron volt since we have this conversion factor that in every 10 to the power of 6 electron volt that is equal to 1 mega electron volt. And then we will have our classical kinetic energy which is equal to about 0 0.185 mega electron volt. Now notice the large discrepancy between the relativistic kinetic energy and the classical kinetic energy. So the change or the difference is mainly due to the fact that as, tra as objects travel close to the speed of light, their mass is going to increase and as a result, the kinetic energy of the electron should increase or should be greater than compared to the kinetic energy of the electron if we treat it as a classical particle or in classical physics. And that concludes this tutorial. Once again, always remember, physics is easy with Mr. Jesse.